we're going to be taking a look at something a little bit differently today. Uh, this is actually a product from a company that my partner at Creative Collective Media reached out to to review their product. Uh, I believe it's on this channel. And uh, yeah, it's not a piece of camera gear, but it does incorporate with camera gear, so to speak. Uh, as you can see from the picture here on the box, it's actually a 24 ounce bottle. And I'm sure you're asking why the hell would this channel be looking at a 24 ounce bottle? Well, because it has a nifty little uh, device on it that helps you shoot footage. Um, and so without further ado, let's open up this rather simplistic box. It's not terribly exciting. I do like the big logo here. And uh, what are we greeted with? Ooh, a little tab here, obviously. We're not looking at some Apple packaging, but we are looking at some packaging, cleaning and care, um, you know, gives you a little hint of what's to come. It is a water bottle. Oh, wow. Look at that. It's actually quite a nice bottle. Now, I think this is in line with what you've come to expect with water bottles. It's actually just all metal and it's got the construction that you would come to expect from a decent water bottle these days. But this is the exciting part of the entire device. And if I manage to take out my phone, yes, it is one of the newer ones with the magnet. Schlunk. Ruined everything. I've ruined everything. There we go. Schlunk. There you go. You can actually connect your phone to. Oh, now you bend it to shoot yourself. You know, if I'm standing here, I'm able to leverage this if I want to hike or if I'm actually out and about in town and I can film just as I would like to. Uh, you can do a little bit of angling. You can point it down if you want to perhaps sit and watch something at home you just got the bottle you need a stand you know we've all sat there having lunch perhaps maybe while we're out and about and voila boom now we've got a little bit of angle to it we don't have to sit there holding our phone maybe with a poppet socket or something else and it really easily comes off now the reason i like this device so much is because it's incorporated into something that i take around everywhere having a water bottle with you is pretty much the standard these days i mean all adventures outside this house involve me needing a water bottle. And this is the perfect opportunity to utilize something that's kind of mundane and I need anyway to just put a little flare on it. And this lid is that flare. It's a very simple little design and something that I think, um, you know, you can use or not use and still get benefit from the product, which is super cool. The lid here is plastic. Um, this is plastic too. Everything about the lid is plastic. There's obviously the magnet inside of this and nothing too special here. What I do notice is that there is right here, if I zoom in, you can see this little rubber grommet. That's going to be where your real seal comes from. Um, not sure how that's gonna last over time. It does look like I could peel it back. So theoretically, if that was to wear down over time, I could replace it. It's not like a permanent, hey, this is damaged forever. There's a chance I could get that. Where you would get those, I don't really know. But it's it's interesting to note that that is something for the future. The other thing I will note that is feels, again, with the solid construction, but is the wide mouth. I'm a big fan of wide mouth bottles. Um, I think that they're easier to sip out of. I know some people prefer the small bottles. I personally like the wide mouth. It allows me to drink at the rate I would like to. It also allows for you to put ice in there relatively easily. Stirring it on. It doesn't have many rotations before it clasps. So you saw that it's almost one half turn of my full hand and it's completely done. Oh, a little bit. Yeah, I've actually seen my friend use this. Uh, as this is the carrying device, which is kind of cool. So you just carry the whole bottle of water with the O as well. I'm sure you could strap this onto a backpack. I'm not sure about the construction. Like I said, everything here feels plastic. Um, so I don't know how durable that would be if this was full and say you were hiking and this was hanging off the back of it. That would be something worth giving a little bit more of a trial, but yeah, I kind of like it. They have many other colors. I told him he got a whole set of these to review for the company. I told him I wanted the red one, bright colors. I'm a big fan of bright colors. So um, yeah, this is now my water bottle. Again, everything else is pretty straightforward. It's just a water bottle, but with a nifty little feature like that. Yeah, I think 
He did manage to also get a link, so if you're interested in taking a look at that, I believe we'll have one in the description. If you don't see one down there, hey, we didn't get a link, but you know where you can find this stuff. It's probably on Amazon. It's probably simply available from Ringo.com. There. Get Ringo.com if we don't have a link in the description. So yeah, let me know what you think. Do you like wide mouth bottles or do you like those little sippy cup styles? What's the most popular bottle type out there? I'm gonna say wide mouth. I'm just gonna make a guess right now and say wide mouth. So you let me know. What do you think? Wide mouth, small mouth. All right guys, I'll see you in the next one.